Hello, friends. Welcome back to coverage of the Standard Super League, where uh, I'm not exactly on speaking terms right now with my uh, my co-host, but uh, maybe I'll let her do the talking about uh, how she crushed uh, me those last two bye. games. <laughs> Come on, I asked Worth for a great birthday gift. This is a great birthday gift, so you can't feel too bad about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, those holding out bursts into that, that obelisk. Ugh, ugh. Yeah. Luckily, we got to watch some more sweet magic. Um, did you have Did you have the wrecked sage? Get wrecked sage. No, I didn't have any of them in my hands. I brought in some uh, hollowed uh, moonlights as well for. Oh, to counter the outbursts. Yeah, or the uh, dragon fodders if need yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I my experience with the matchup is just that wrecked sage is actually just get wrecked sage. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the whole play, uh, game plan, right? Get a hit a collected company. You know, yeah. get your get your obelisk, maybe get a Brymaz or whatever. Yeah, but. did you like get did you bring in Tragic Arrogance? I did, yeah. I brought okay. those as well. Yeah, so like the tough thing is that you really you really need to go really wide to win in this matchup, but like if you go really wide you just lose the Tragic Arrogance horribly. So it's kind of like an awkward dance to play. <laughs> well the goblins three owed with the goblins, so I guess uh, nobody can talk smack about them anymore. <laughs> the goblins <laughs> I think I think that was the biggest your pile driver got. Uh, it was 15, pretty big. Yeah, fifteen just power. Insane. I mean, it, it died like a dragon would, but <laughs> other than that. <laughs> so it goes. We have uh, Andrew Cuneo and uh, Josh utter Layton up next. And uh, I think I think everybody wants to watch Andrew win a game here. Yes, everyone loves the goggles. Everybody wants the goggles to do something. <laughs> uh, let's bring up Andrew's deck list and see if what we can... What do you make uh, of this matchup, Kenji? Um, you know, <laughs> I think Josh is just going to crush him, but... Uh, <laughs> just like everybody else, I think, you know... I think if he can get some good draws, he has a lot of good answers to to Josh's creatures, but um, it, it's right. it's just too janky, man. It's just too <laughs> janky. Janky has been called. He just yeah. needs to survive the first. Like if he can find, I think if he can find some ways to keep like the first like sweep of creatures under control, it's probably going to be pretty good. Like if he gets to get the goggles going, I think he really needs to get the goggles going in this matchup. Yeah, and that's that's going to be the problem, just surviving until he can get that. Right. You know? Having uh, the two Anger of the Gods main deck is pretty nice, the first two. No, I, I completely agree. And you know what? Luckily, they hit uh, Mantis Riders, too. But if he doesn't draw them, or his Crackling Dooms, I don't know. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll, see, uh, we'll see more goggles being burnt out, I guess. Yeah, for sure. It, it just seems definitely pretty important to, like, slow down Raptor in the beginning. Yeah. And if we yeah. can bring up uh, Josh's deck list, we can see... Uh, what he's working with, I know you guys have seen these the last few weeks we've been playing, but uh, good to go over them once more. I mean, at least, you know, Josh has some blanks for, for Andrew. The Roasts and Wild Slashes aren't really doing too much. Andrew doesn't have too many creatures in his deck. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the thing, too, is that for for um, Andrew, he really needs to, you know, he, like, has these um, Soulfire Grandmasters to try to recur things, but they're really just going to die against Josh. So even, you know, even like the roasts that are kind of like blanked, they're not even that blanked, you know? Yeah. Because all the other burn can go to his face. That's true. That's a good point. We'll have to see if, uh, if Josh can pull out fast enough before Andrew can get his goggles online. But yeah. I guess For it all sure. depends. Yeah, it, I love, I actually really like this Just Guy build. I kind of want to put it together and try it out. I really like Monastery Mentor in this list. You don't like the goggles build? You're not going to put the goggles list together? Oh, I still like the goggles build, too. I actually like all of these decks. <laughs> it's got a great track record, you know? Mm, it seems like fun, though. Like, if you get it going. <laughs> all right, what percentages are you putting on the deck lists? Uh, percentages, I think, is hard. I think um, Raptor's definitely favored. But I'm kind of rooting for goggles just because, like, you can't not root for goggles to do something awesome. <laughs> sure. All right, we're going to go down to the match. And uh, stay tuned, folks. What do you think, Kenji? Where do you put this matchup at? Oh, you know, Josh is like 95 to Andrew's <laughs> 15. Who are you rooting for? <laughs> uh, I, of course, I want the goggles to win. I think everybody yeah. wants the goggles to win, but 95 and 15, clearly. Excellent, perfect match. <laughs> In that lopsided of a match. <laughs> yes. All right, it looks like uh, Andrew mulled down to six here. Okay, All so right. there's an abbot that we can't see on the far right for Josh. It looks yeah, like so he has a really good hand, just missing a red source, but, you know, he's... Is that a Sheevan Reef? Oh, no. a Sheevan Reef. No, he got it. He got it. <laughs> Never didn't have it. 
Luckily for him, Andrew has the uh, all the necessary mana now. Double Nomad Outpost to start. And you know, he has one of his very few creatures. I can imagine Josh just quickly roasts that up. Yeah, for sure. This thing is going to be gone. It's, it's such a problem for him, too. <laughs> if it sticks around. Um, oh. Especially with like all the cheap cantrips like, that, that Andrew has. But the goggles are here! <laughs> that goggles! Unfortunately, he doesn't have the yep. lands yet, but the Hustling Dooms. It's gone. That's really good for Josh. He gets to use that roast that we were talking about on one of the yeah. very few creatures Andrew has. For the most part, it's just like totally dead, and it just lines up pretty badly with what Andrew's doing. See, so yeah, he was gonna get to make so many, so many tokens here with all those tormenting voices. That's kind of a <laughs> saddest monastery mentor in the world. So, what what do you do if you're Josh? You just jam the mantis. I would say jam the mantis. I mean, it's gonna die, but just jamming it is so good. You also have so much backup, like, Avid is so good at drawing your cards later in the game, and it's still a really good creature to attack with, because prowess hits pretty hard. Sure. Andrew hits the land for the turn, scrying. That's good for him. Uh, looks like he's just passing it and holding up Crackling Doom, yeah. Yeah. It's fair. If Josh has another Mantis, he really wants to kill it. The Mantis are a problem. Mantai, is that? <laughs> Mantises? Mantis Riders. Let's just say Riders. <laughs> there you go. There you Mantis go. Riders, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Josh leading here with the Abbot. Let's see what he finds. See what he gets. Ah, uh, Crackling Doom. with Crackling Doom? Okay. Yeah. What is that? Monastery Mentor enters revealed son. Oh. Yeah, that's not going to fly. Now, do you run out the other Abbot here if you're uh, Josh? You know that oh, Andrew like just, like, angers. I, I would be a little concerned about Anger just because that is the one card that like, really blows you away. Although I think you have a really good shot of recovering. You A, have Treasure Cruise in your hand, and B, you have a lot of cards that are really good post-Anger. Like, all your Mantis Riders are awesome. Lo um, and behold, we see the Goggles come down yeah, for Andrew. Goggles. And you know what? He still has 15 life to work I'm so with. so excited. <laughs> Granted, these two Abbots can do some real work in conjunction with one another. I think uh, yeah, Josh sure. is probably just holding up the Valorous Stance at, at all points now because he knows he's not going to have a good target to yeah, destroy. Sure. I mean, Stance is probably one of the cards that he's going to board out. It just doesn't have... It A, has no targets for, for Andrew's deck to kill, and then holding up two mana to try to, you know, like, protect your guy is just not really... Yeah. Not awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going to go for a cruise here, though. All right, that's interesting, because he only has four cards in his yard, so he's not he's going to be able to hold a Wild Slash, but nothing else. Right. right. For the most part, I feel like these Wild Slash, like, a lot, that's a nice thing. Josh can burn Andrew out, so there goes a Treasure Cruise. Triggered Prowess, another Ooh, Mantis Rider. Ooh, Mantis Rider. That's pretty nice. I think it's funny that Andrew has uh, <laughs> Boundary of the Consoles. Of the consoles. Yeah. Well, I guess it's, it's a good discard How many target. cards does he get to draw for this? Four. He only has to discard four. one card. Yeah, so it's, it's a discard copy. one, draw four. It's same for Magmatic Insight. Correct, yeah. The poor man's Ancestral Recall. <laughs> Be, build your own Ancestral Recall in red. Uh -huh. <laughs> now remember, he has to tap the goggles to get the double effect, so he can't yeah, you know, it's true. do it again and again. Yeah, it is really nice to turn you do it, though. What is that, a Monastery Mentor that showed up in the corner? Mm -hmm. Yep. See, that's the other thing, too, is that Josh doesn't even have to overextend into this. Like, he really doesn't have to. I think he's going to go ahead and play the Mentor, though, and then hold up uh -huh. uh, the stance and the... Yeah, and, and I think stance. that's safe to do, you because you can do both. Um, but it's not like... It's not kind of like if Goblins overextends into anger, and then you're like, I guess I can't win. <laughs> I think Andrew knows that he's just got to protect his life total, though. He's, yeah. he's popping off the Crackling Doom without having the uh, extra Goggles effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at some point, you just got to slow him down. Like, once you have the goggles, you're in really good shape to play a long game, so you just want to extend the game as much as you can. Great point. Mentor yeah, coming so down here. Tour. And this is nice, and then he gets protected, too. Yep. Yeah. That's, is that three Crackling Dooms Andrew's already used? Yes, I think so. Okay. He's snapped Crackled Doom about three times so far. Here we go. Draw more cards. He's drawing so many cards, you know, and these just... He hasn't played a single Magmatic Insight. Those are all the live draws to draw a million cards. He's not doing anything, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's true. There you go. There's the anger. But it's not all even, right. like, very good in here, you know? No, it's not. Not on this position anyways. Does Andrew have any targets for that um, Colgan's Command in his graveyard? Yeah, the Soulfire. He could bring back Soulfire. Okay. 
Yeah, he's at a point where he can start recurring stuff too with Soulfire, like buying it back and using goggles, copying it like a million times and buying it back. I think the important thing is that the crackling dooms are gone though, so that Valorous stance yeah. is really gonna push the Monastery Mentor through. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Andrew's hands looks good. It, it looks good, it, I just... <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's just, enough. it's a Mardo control deck and some of the pieces of it are kind of clunky. You know, like some parts are really good, like Kologan's command looks, you know, not great here. <laughs> so I think Josh is going to be able to play the Mantis Rider, hold up Wild Slash, and Valorous Stance. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I'm going to attack for a bunch right now. Yeah, and Andrew can't really do anything about this. Is he going to try to... Like, he's going he's gonna to try to kill it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work out, but it's definitely correct to do so. So I have to imagine that... Uh... Josh is going to aim the Wild Slash at Andrew's face in order to preserve the Valorous Stance. Yeah, probably. And get a, you know, get a 1-1 one, one Prowess in the process. Yeah, so there's the Wild Slash. Face. All of the I triggers. See. Spell still resolves. Yeah. What was the second mode for Colgan's Command? Uh, I think it was a discard. Okay. I could be... No, wait. I, don't, I didn't see him get a creature back. Yeah, I mean, he, the and the only creature would have been Soulfire, so yeah. that didn't work. So what's he playing? Soulfire? Try to stun the bleeding a little bit? I mean... It kind of... It, it's a tough situation, because you kind of want to like try to kill everything, but you... You know... Josh has definitely looks like has stance up and has been represented at the entire game. Slash, he has it in his hand. Actually, Andrew's in a really good spot here. He gets to anger, gain a million life, and like, then when well, Josh he's gonna tries a million to life, save. which extends the game for a long time. How many cards does Andrew have? Thirty-eight. Okay, he's not close to ducking. <laughs> I actually think Andrew's going to win this game now from this position. Well, gaining all this life really buys him a lot of time, and then but, obviously the goggles are an awesome engine. To keep going. Yeah, he has gonna... an Ugin. Once he finds that Ugin, he's going to be in a really commanding position. Well, because Andrew can just uh, wild slash here in response so that none of the creatures survive. Unless he's aiming it at the Mantis Rider. Um, he, might finish off, he might finish off the Mantis Rider. Uh, where are these going? Well, watch Andrew's life. Remember, he was so at four. So much life link, too. <laughs> Jeez. Also, he, there's a Colgan's Command, so he can do this again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, the creature gets exiled, remember, from the anger. Oh, yeah, you're right. Although Josh drew one of the better right. ones to come back, the uh, yep. treasure cruise. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about earlier, how it's, you know, these are so good to follow up with um, after anger. Because they, they just hit hard. But now, now Andrew's at 20. <laughs> yeah, and this is exactly what he was trying to do. This I mean, game is so crazy, I love it. All he needs to do is draw a land, and he can start magmatic insighting, or he can just tormenting voice yeah, either way. Sure. I mean, he's just seeing so much of his deck. He can actually find the correct answers for the things that are going on, you know? All right, here starts the insight. Draw four. More goggles. <laughs> they are legendary, so this doesn't actually work. Yeah. Josh just has no ways to interact with goggles, does he? Not game one, correct? Uh, I don't think so. I think he might have a stroke or two in the sideboard. Yeah, I don't think he can interact with it once it's in play. I'm going to check. Right, so he's going to mind rot uh, Joshua with the cold guns command and kill mm -hmm. the Mantis Rider. Yeah, I mean, he looks he looks to be in a yeah, great spot now. He's in a very commanding position right now. He's got the wheel. In this case, the goggles. <laughs> yeah, in this case, the goggles. They are doing something. <laughs> Let's see. It does not look like he has any way to interact with the goggles. And the only way he can do it post-board is not letting them come down. Yep. See if Abbott can hit something here for Josh to get him rolling again in the right direction. A roast is not what he needs. That's one of his blanks, although he's happy to get that off the top of his library. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, commune with lava. <laughs> That's a spicy one in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to see his deck working. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this is sweet. This is awesome. Oh, are we co Wait, are we communing here? No. Oh, he's putting in four one ones with first strike. Oh. The hidden mode of Mardu charm. 
Actually, and, and Josh is already at 10 life from all the pain. Took so much work. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna work. Yeah. It's probably like gonna block with maybe all, so that nothing goes wrong. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, even if Josh Wow, is... and Josh is empty-handed. He's already, I mean, he has one dig through time in his... I mean, what, what sort of draws gets him out of the situation? Andrew's at 17. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for Josh to come out of this now. No. Just look at this raw card advantage. It's like it's like an interesting way to think about it. Like if he were to stack his library, what kind of draw gets him out of this? And I, I can't even, I, I can't really come up with it. Well, he has the one dig through time, right? So that's probably a good start. Yeah, so it's like you 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 get a dig, and then what do you dig for? If you could pick. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if Jessica Charm's gonna do the trick. Um. Monastery mentor and buyback stuff. I guess maybe like start buying back Just Guy Charm with burn. I don't. Cause you I mean, you can do that. You can exactly do that. You could have start buying back Just Guy Charm and try to burn him out. But you're at six. <laughs> and he's at seventeen. <laughs> yeah, you need a lot of turns before that works. Slash Andrew has a million ways to kill the monastery mentor. So. Or in this case, Josh on this turn. Or sorry, I mean Soulfire Grandmaster. That's what I mean. Wow, and yeah. uh, Andrew's gonna actually going to take game one here. Andrew's Moto username is Gainsay. That's sweet. <laughs> he is a fan of the blue conditional yeah. counters. I like it. Yeah, wow. I mean, what, what did you think? Did you think Andrew was going to win that first game? I felt like if he was really able to slow down um, Josh, he had a chance. It, it involved doing exactly that. It involved slowing him down a lot. It involved having goggles active and just being able to take control of the game and just kind of deplete them out of resources. The thing is, that's interesting though is, can we can we pull up the player's sideboards? I, because... I think they... What? Uh, yeah, can we pull up uh, Josh? Because Josh is playing, um, there it is, four oh. Sphinxes to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's a good chance he might bring them in. So two negates, four tutelage, two strokes. Yeah, I think so. Like, the rows are bad, and you take those out, and the stances are mediocre, and you probably take those out. But then, the Sphinx's tutelage, like, Andrew's already drawing a ton of cards. You have awesome cards that interact with tutelage in this deck. You have um, Magmatic Insight, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I think the turning point was, uh, was when Andrew was able to play the Soulfire Grandmaster in addition to the... In addition the... to... Yeah, I mean, that's when the whole game turned around. So I think there's a non-zero chance that Josh boards into Sphinx's tutelage. And Andrew doesn't have that many ways to interact with the tutelage. Has, like, the Ugin. Has an erase in the sideboard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we go to Andrew's list over, we can look at uh, what he's got going on. Like, I, like you said, I think he's, it's just that Ugin, right? Yeah, so I think the second game, second and third game can possibly go much longer. They just have, they, I think their plans, look at, look at the stuff in this sideboard, like Two Outpost Siege, um, Nick Fleece Ram, Silk Rat. Okay. Yeah, so like he has a lot of really game. good stuff to kind of slow it down, which means that we might see like a much, much longer game, two and three. Looks like both players are on seven. Actually, oh, just hand it's, it's there, the tutelage is there. <laughs> but even though he has the tutelage, I don't think that hand's very good. It's It's got... Um, oh, yeah, it's very slow. Drops. I think you still keep it. For sure. I mean, and, Andrew's deck is slow. Andrew's deck is so slow. Yeah, I mean, we're going to play playing Drago for a bit here on the Josh's side. But. Yeah. Oh, the nice uh, thing is, if Josh first? took out the roasts, the, the Soulfire Grandmasters are going to do a lot more work. Yeah, so Josh still has... Um, while wow, slashes to interact on a number of other things, but those interact really well with this. But currently, none in his hand. These uh, these soul fires might might do some work. Yeah. Do you do you leave with monastery the mentor here? What? Do you leave with the mentor here, or do you leave with the tutelage and just start villain? Um, I don't know. It feels it feels pretty bad if you just slam the mentor with no ability to play anything else. Mm -hmm. Have Andrew kill your mentor. Attack with the with the Soulfire Grandmaster, gain a bunch of life, and then you're just pretty far behind. Sure. So I think I like playing the Tutelage and maybe hoping um, 
to play those soul fires in the turn where maybe you have like a way of creating tokens as well. It doesn't look like that's gonna happen. He's probably just gonna slam the mentor and play the Temple of Epiphany. Yeah. Oh, we can almost see what that card was. It looks like a Seeker of the Way. Oh, it's a mentor, another one, okay. I don't know that he wants a third mentor. I would almost certainly bottom that. I don't think that's a good yeah, He kept it on top. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, there's a plan. To, I'm sure there's a plan. I, I don't know that I want it when I already have so many in hand. He, I guess he's just going to assume that the first one and probably the second one are going to They're going to die. That's yeah. a fair point. It's true. And it is pretty good if it sticks. It's really good with your Just Guy Charms, which he has none of right now, but he can probably find pretty easily. He's playing a bunch. He's playing four, I think. Andrew's hand is quite stacked. Crackling Dew, Mardu Charm, this uh, Kologan's Command, and uh, <laughs> Wild Slash in addition to the Foundry. Yeah, this is pretty good. Andrew's drawn two of his five creatures. That's these are gonna do Look some at quick this aggro work. Plan. Look at these soul fire grandmasters. It's kind of it's funny. Andrew Andrew went smell. more aggro, and then uh, Josh went more control with the tutelage, and now he's kind of getting punished for it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Andrew's also on the um, on the play along day. Like if we see the outpost siege, we'll see that he's on the long plan. He just happened to draw two soul fire grandmasters and they're yeah. doing a lot of work. And look, his life is at 28 already, not, you know, an insignificant amount of uh, buffering. Yeah. Oh, no, and it's, this is unfortunate because he can't <sighs> dig yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I, I guess just... Andrew could play around that by crackling Doom anyways, but... Yeah, that's true. Yep, there it is. So this guy's about to be dead. Man, take so another four. Wow. If, and, if Andrew wins this match here, I will have the sole distinction of being the only person not to win a match. Uh, well, now, now I'm rooting against Andrew, even though it was sweet that his goggles <laughs> the took a game. The game has changed. Yes. Josh so falling down to seven, seven here. Yeah. Andrew has a lot of good stuff to follow up with, too. Mm -hmm. His hand is pretty good. So what do you do here of your Josh? Uh, besides weep, I guess you, let's see, can you play the mentor sack? No, you don't have enough to mentor plus dig, yeah, so I think gotta ab it here and hope he hits something. Yeah, you can ab it, hope to hit something good. Now remember, this isn't a drawing a card, so it's not gonna trigger the tutelage. Yeah. Well, um, I don't even know, like, Andrew has, what, 40 cards in this deck? So you're not even, oh, you're yeah. not even on the mill plan right now. You're in, like, let's not die plan right now. <laughs> He found a Mantis Rider, so he's going to pop off his fetch and uh, play that, but mm -hmm. might be too little too late here. Yeah. Mother Charm can, of course, deal four damage to a creature if he wants to. Yeah, the Mantis Rider is going to be promptly put to sleep. And the, yeah, and the Abbot is kind of just... The Abbot's going to snap block anything, but <laughs> it's not long for this world. <laughs> yep. yep. Actually, Andrew just drew lethal. Wow. Wow. Just like that, we see the power wow. of Crackling Doom in this matchup. That was not so. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. So I think it was the Soulfire Grandmasters that really, really did the work here for Andrew in both of these games. Yeah, I definitely. Mean, Josh's draw for game two was not as good for sure, but uh, in conjunction with the Goggles, the, the Soulfire Grandmasters just put it way It was just interesting top. because I don't think Cuneo's deck is supposed to play like that. It just, that's the way, that's the way the draw worked, but it was, I, I mean, I'm curious to find out, I, I hope we find out if he brought in that post he just was planning on playing that longer game, just because uh, that was an interesting game, the, the, the way it played out. Yeah, no, it was great. I think it was, I mean, maybe not the most interesting of uh, choices and decisions, but, uh, you know, it was, it was fun to watch, if nothing else. Yeah, for sure. All right, and for sure, don't forget, good. folks, we have another match coming up after this between Paul Chion and Marshall. And those, are, those guys are playing for the second seed in the uh, streamer bracket. Both of them are sitting at 1-1 one, one right now. Yeah, so it's both opening Both of them in. Yeah, are Esper Dragons, is that correct? Opening in for the playoffs. Yeah, it's the Esper Dragons mirror. They're playing for the playoffs. It's winning it. Clean You're welcome it. for the bye. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. It was a great birthday gift. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right, let's go down to commercial break. Stay tuned for the next round, folks. Sounds good. See you guys.